I'm Sensei Alex Kakio, and the title of today's talk is Change Your Expectations. But before we get into that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. And if you'd like to do a deep dive into Buddhist training, check out my book, Perfectly Ordinary, Buddhist Teachings for Everyday Life. It's available on Amazon, and there's a link to a sample chapter of the book in the description for this talk. So here we are at the end of the year, and we have the holidays. And of course, part of dealing with the holidays, be it Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's, is also dealing with our relatives. And this can be a challenge. Some of us grow up in homes where we are loved and cared for and maybe even coddled a little bit. And some of us grow up in homes that are very toxic. And maybe being with our family or our relatives isn't something that we enjoy. So how do we deal with this? How do we cope with the stresses of family life and still manage to enjoy the holidays? Well, first, we need to understand that family drama is not so, just something we deal with. The Buddha, 2,600 years ago, also had his own family drama. His father was not happy when he found out his son wanted to be a monastic. His cousin, Devadatta, tried to kill him several times. He had his own issues to deal with, with family, just like we all do. But one of the things we can do to work with this is just to realize that family drama is normal. Not to say that it's good or that it's something we enjoy, but we shouldn't see it as a failure in our spirituality if we struggle from time to time dealing with the people who share our bloodline. Because again, Buddha had the same problems 2,600 years ago. We need to change our expectations and understand that when the first noble truth says life is suffering, family is included as well. And of course, that doesn't mean that family is always a source of suffering. A lot of times family can be wonderful and a joy to be around, but occasionally it can be tough. So we need to change our expectations and understand that just like work or driving can be a source of hardship, family can also be a source of hardship. And our goal as spiritual practitioners is the same as it's always been to learn to work with our family in a skillful way, a way that relieves suffering both for ourselves and other people. Another way we can adjust our expectations when dealing with family is simply to accept them as they are, to not try to change them or wish they were different in the same way that we would accept a plant or a pet exactly as they are. This is something I've experienced in my own life. In my attempts to build strong relations with my family members, I strive to call all of them at least once a week just to check in and show that I care. Now, some people in my family have been very receptive to this, and it's caused us to have a very strong bond. Some people less so. I have some family members who, even though I've been calling them every week for Several years now, they don't answer my phone calls or my text messages. And in my own life, this was a source of tremendous suffering. I was angry. I was sad. Why won't they speak to me? I had to adjust my expectations, accept them exactly as they are, and understand that my desire is a source of suffering in this situation. Going back to the second noble truth, which says suffering is caused by desire. And like all desires, the way to deal with that was to adjust my expectations to accept my family members as they are, to love them in the way that they allow me to love them. So if they don't answer my phone calls or return my text messages, that's okay. 
doesn't mean that I like the fact they don't answer the phone, but I accept it as part of life. The same way I accept sunrise and sunset. And I see them on the holidays and I try to enjoy our time together. Without holding the uh, lack of phone conversations against them. Adjusting our expectations is a difficult practice. It's especially difficult with family, but it's an important practice. One that we can use not only with people, but with life as a whole. And as we adjust our expectations, as we accept the world exactly as it is, whether we want it to be that way or not, we find a deep and residing peace within ourselves because our happiness doesn't come from anything outside of us. It comes from within. So that's the talk for today. I hope it was helpful. If you'd like to read articles I've written about Buddhist practice, you can do that at my blog, The Same Old Zen. The link for that is in the description for this talk. And if you'd like to continue the discussion on family or adjusting our expectations, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys, and I promise I'll respond. So until next time, Amitabha.